Hi Libra, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Libra Tarot reading. Libra love tarot reading. Libra love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Libra love messages reading channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them, who's making what move, if any, what's going on in your connection, what and who is here. Let's take a look at the energy. Libra, it's justice. This is your energy and it's coming here with the hangman. Pisces energy. The hangman connected to the crown chakra, I know. And justice connected to the heart chakra, I love. Hmm. Well, there's some truth about who they love, but also the truth is coming here. It's somebody, yeah, who has been indecisive. This is somebody you haven't been communicating with. No contact, no communication and or in separation. It's been a strong period of uncertainty here in this connection. And this is the truth coming. A decision to, to bring the truth, which is really what's been going on here, you know, in the hangman energy. They know. When is it coming? 11 is the master number. Coming together energy. New beginnings. A new cycle, really. So what is this truth going to mean? What is it going to change? And... Hmm. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, excuse me, Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. A decision here to both bring the truth around what's going on. Capricorn and Saturn energy, some other options you could say. Weighing some things out. It's Pentacles, they're roses today, that's matters of the heart. And the Ten of Cups is here. Had you built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? It looks like it's back on the table. And here in the partnership placement, I think they're choosing you. They're coming here with the truth. Look, the star is also here. Also connected to the crown chakra. I know, I know I need to be honest with you. It's coming here with the Eight of Swords. It's a reversal energy, Jupiter and Gemini energy. So it's opening up communication. There's a lot of healing energy in the star. You know, it's, it's hope for things to work out. It's hope for renewal. It's stars aligning kind of energy. I think they might be making this decision here around you. One of those is yours. Libra, I'm channeling for you in July 2024, and you could be here in real time. You could also be here many months. Years later, this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. So welcome again. It's a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. And down below, you will find all your playlists. So all your Libra Zodiac readings, all 12 Zodiac signs. You'll also find all signs tarot readings. These are collective love readings. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long very in-depth twin flame readings below. I take a pretty deep dive, so feel free to explore. Let's take a look at the energy coming in. It's the Page of Swords and the Six of Cups. Libra, you are on this person's mind. They're definitely getting, they're getting a whole lot of perspective in that hangman energy. They're coming with the truth. One of those pentacles is yours. They have the Ten of Cups on their mind with you. What is the other pentacle? Contracts, commitments, partnerships. So are we looking at somebody here who can't figure out how to balance their love life? Are we looking at long distance energy? For some of you, that's really strong. Cultural, religious differences. Could somebody be in another connection? Could that be romance? They're watching you. If you're connected on social media, if you're not, they're still finding a way to get information, talking to other people. Look at this. The Six of Cups, Sun and Scorpio energy, very much 
going back in time energy thinking of you, of everything. It's the nostalgic energy. When things were easier. Soul connection energy is strong. Some of you have known this person for your whole life. It could also just be the feeling, and that's the soul connection energy. This page of swords is holding on to the truth, Libra. And we saw that injustice coming in. And it came in with the hangman. Okay, I'm just going to get this last cut deck. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you, Libra. Let's keep going. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us what else Libra needs to see. Ahu. It's the moon. It's the death card. It's the king of swords. Gemini energy. Mercury energy. The planet of the mind, the planet of communication. So it's been really clear that the person, and it's wanting to be your overall energy, the person who's coming through here today wants to communicate the truth. They want to communicate in general, revealing the truth of how they feel. Look what is right below that. It's the moon. Pisces energy also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. The moon is connected to the third eye chakra I see, the self-awareness. What has this person been hiding? Feelings? What they really want? What is going on in their life? Because they're coming in here without ego. The death card. So this they're coming in in a really different vibe here. And this is somebody from the past that I, I feel like you know who you're here for. It could be someone you're not expecting. It's the healing energy of the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. So yeah, some things could have been said, also not said. Look, they're holding up an olive branch. It's making peace energy. There's a lot of hurt here, look. You can see that, of course. It's the Five of Swords. Venus and Aquarius energy. And it's coming here with the Queen of Cups. So a really healing energy, emotional around the love. This is a sincere apology, I'll tell you that. This is somebody who's not coming in with ego. But what have they been hiding? What is What have they been hiding? Feelings. It's the moon. And it's being revealed here, and it's coming here. They're opening up, wanting to communicate, coming here with our King of Swords. Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of, ten of Swords as well, okay? Yeah, this is definitely getting out of this energy. It's what they're wanting to do. It's not an easy ending. Look at this. It's the Ten of Swords. Sun and Gemini energy, and it's coming here with the Death card. So it's both a validation of what happened of things having having ended. Also when that hangman energy kind of suspended, you know, like things not moving, but there's still something going on. There's things they need to work out. So this is a new cycle. It's really clear. The Ten of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. It's like, yeah, putting those wands down and getting out of getting out of this no contact energy. Getting out of the Rego, coming here in a really different vibe. So that's more energy of, okay, it's just going into a bottoms up here. Or, it's, yeah, this is where we're going. Three of Swords in reverse, that's the apology. Look, the Six of Swords, the delay in that. Talking also here in the decision, the Six of Swords in reverse, Mercury and Aquarius energy. So communicating about this. What is that other pentacle? Are they just having issues with commitment? Is there another third party here? You know, is there, is there distance? Whatever the case is, this is somebody who does want to apologize, Libra. Three of Swords, this is your energy, Saturn and Libra, and it's in reverse, and it's right here with the Queen of Cups. That is, and the Five of Swords, who today has an olive branch between the two of you. This reaching out, making... Being the first to move here, apologizing. Because look, the Nine of Pentacles is here in reverse. So what they're apologizing for around the lack of holding feelings back, not being honest, not communicating, in particular the honesty, is directly connecting to how you got into this Ten of Swords in the first place. The Sun and Gemini, just the ending. Here with the Death card. 
the nine of pentacles, Virgo and Mercury energy. It's in reverse. So it's a, that's like the setback energy. I have to say this is somebody I feel like is working too much or was possibly working too much. So there's the delay look in, in yeah, and just this, this person even getting, coming here to communicate. It's the two of wands in reverse, Mars and Aries energy. The page of wands, literally stretching, getting balance here, warming up. So there, there is a little bit of fear here in the way of coming, but they know they need to look. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, you're here also, Aquarius energy. So this is getting out of their head. This is also coming here with the truth, also connecting, of course, with justice. It's the sword energy. It's clarity in your relationship. It's transactional. Look at the information coming in with our owl. By the way, just an FYI, this is sword energy. Of course, all of you are here, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But this owl is a Scorpio. And they can hold back their feelings. They're actually really good at it. But behind the scenes, they're kind of getting some things done. And of course, it's the connection to the divine, the nocturnal energy, the information, the wisdom that this person has. So this is around, in particular for me today, this is a strong energy of the emotions that they're coming here to be honest about. Because this person is not coming in here with ego at all. Yeah, not at all. This is a really sincere apology, healing desperately needed here. Again, it can be somebody who's been overworking. The world card is here, the world cosmos, and it's here now with the hangman in reverse. We already saw it coming in. So yeah, it is telling me what what we already know, but it's a validation that it's probably been too long, you know? And there have been some power struggles here. So it's kind of like you've been needing this person to get out of their ego and shadow and whatever else and make the move to come and be honest with you. You're still here. I feel like there's still a connection between you, but it's this energy of like, I'm not going to be the one to move. I'm not going to be the one to do it. It needs to be them. It's kind of, a, it's some selfish energy. The high priestess is here, divine feminine energy, cancer energy. It's in reverse. The high priestess is connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, as well as the third eye chakra, I see the awareness. So, and it's right here with the two of pentacles. So there's definitely some struggling around sharing emotions, making a decision, whether it's somebody who, yeah, is just afraid of all the emotions and commitment or there's something else going on here. But we also have the high priestess, the two here coming here with the two of pentacles and connecting with the death card that's coming in with some second chance energy on their mind, coming in without ego. And it's a strong validation here also with the world card, in particular, just getting out of the cycle. This is a completion energy. So it's kind of like, well, yeah, look even here in our two of wands in reverse where it wants to be with the ten of swords. This is like things falling apart, things not moving, kind of waiting. So it's also around just the waiting for the truth, waiting for clarity, getting out of no contact. And I do feel it's connected to whatever went on here that got into this energy in the first place. This is like the... This is a strong validation of things moving again because this is the completion energy. So what cycle is ending here and where are we heading? Well, you get out of the world card, the last major arcana, you circle back into the full energy. And what I like about this is the world card is connected to the root chakra. And when that's not centered, not aligned, you know, we can come from a place of shadow and ego and make some mistakes. We all do. We say and we do things. And then you don't say and do things that you want to do. So you want to get that root chakra in balance. So this is an energy of the balanced root chakra here. So everything else can kind of get worked out. The death card here as well, the third eye chakra, the awareness, I see. 
This is somebody who wants to get out of the cycle, at the very least, of not communicating, and they want to apologize. I don't know if it's just fear or other commitments, maybe even to work, because that's the thing. It's like other commitments in the Two of Pentacles. So is it to work? Are we looking at third party in the way of friends or family? Is it something romantic? This is an apology. It's really strong, actually. And the world card, of course, is a divine number, divine timing, communication. It's somebody who's seeing you as a soulmate. The soulmate energy is strong. And it's this energy of, yeah, obstacles out of the way, debts paid, being able to move forward. This is the person coming in here and getting closer to you. So here's the thing. There's an energy around this, a life-changing energy. I want to bring in some more. So is this conversation, is the communication, a message, a phone call, what is this? Because they're coming in here without ego. Being honest here, really strong, of course, coming in with your energy, Justice Libra. What is this going to change? Because something's about to change here. That's the completion energy here in our world card. And look what is at the bottom of the deck. It's the Seven of Cups in reverse, Venus and Scorpio energy. So this is like having made the decision here. The commitment energy, the struggles here around it, other commitments. So work, location, third party, maybe even romance. Seven of Cups energy, commitment issues. It's in reverse, so it's coming out of those issues. It's what you've been waiting for. Literally, here in our Two of Wands in reverse, Ten of Swords. So there's the World Card energy. Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wow. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting. So we have the Nine of Cups Wish Fulfillment energy. Jupiter in Pisces energy, one cup shy. Look, of our Ten of Cups. So this is definitely some things that, that happened here, you could say. Because where is the Tenth Cup? Here's our Ten of Cups. Here's the Nine of Cups. It's here in the Broken Promise energy of the Knight of Cups in reverse. Scorpio and Pluto energy. So, yeah, around commitment issues. It's just really strong. But we're also seeing the Nine of Cups here and the Ten of Cups here. This is somebody you've been waiting to hear from. You've also been waiting for an apology. That's the wish fulfillment connecting directly with the Three of Swords in reverse Saturn and Libra energy, the apology. And here is that Tenth Cup and the Ace of Cups. Now here's the thing, World Card, Ace of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups, look at this. We can be looking at marriage for some of you. Marriage proposal energy, and maybe something that didn't happen or went wrong, if that's in fact what that broken promise was. But I want to be clear. I know it's not going to be that for everyone. But what is clear is whatever promise was broken here, it's like coming back in, not just making it right with the apology. It's, it's being ready for it now. It's getting out of the commitment issues. It's really clear. And if there is an energy of choosing between something, they're choosing you. Nine of Cups, World Card, Ace of Cups. This is really strong around life-changing energy, which I thought, what is that life-changing energy? So it's a pretty strong validation that it can be, you could say, births. You know, that won't be for everyone because that's also just fertility. So that's just the new beginning. It could be around, could be around specifically children, though, marriage, moving in. It could be around introducing families, blending families, going exclusive. Whatever kind of didn't happen or fell apart, it's what they're coming in here with now. Infinite possibilities with our starfish. And it's also an energy of making something work that wasn't. It's right. It's it just I just realized it wanted to be directly on the other side of, of what wasn't working, what they were here also in the High Priestess Afraid of. Commitment, Two of Pentacles, High Priestess in Reverse, Knight of Cups in Reverse. Because this is like clouded, not really sure what to do, feelings, not 
the lack of self-awareness, you could say, just struggling, you know, blocked here, connected with the broken promise energy in here with the two of pentacles, now the seven of cups in reverse. So it's the commitment issue energy here. It's just really clear. And it's, it's the opposite of what's coming in here now. It's, yeah, it's, there's an apology here too, but it's more than that. It's like I'm ready now, or I made, I, ch I choose you. So if there's a decision between something, or if it's just literally a decision to get out of being afraid of commitment, because that's clear. Things have been stuck. The world here in reverse, that's not surprising. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy. You know, it's around some timing energy here too. It's Jupiter energy, the planet of prosperity and expansion. Things have not been prosperous or moving or growing. A strong connection to luck here. So it's, yeah, I always think of that as timing too. So somebody ready, somebody not. Somebody available, somebody not. It's directly connecting with the two of pentacles here. What is that other pentacle? You know, again, it's, it's like having worked that out here. Or seven of cups in reverse or made their choice. Seven of wands in reverse here, Mars and Leo energy. It's kind of like, okay, I'll hear you out. I'm <laughs> here, look. And also this person getting out of some of the energy of, yeah, the heart, heart chakra blockage energy, I want to say. Because that's the other thing. Justice, your energy, which we saw, Libra, is connected to the heart chakra. And that truth coming here. Whoa. <laughs> that, was, that was really clear. Pun intended. Look, revelation. It's connecting us to judgment. The crown chakra, I know. And Archangel Gabriel connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, as well as the third eye chakra, I see the awareness. It's like uprighting the high priestess energy. Yeah, this is somebody who has clarity now. This is somebody who knows what they want. They've made, they're making their decision. They're coming out of the commitment issue energy, whatever that is specifically around. And there is an apology that's kind of like the door opening. Three of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords. Here, warming up, getting ready to come here because they're coming in a sincere way. They're coming here without ego. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see for Libra Ho. Bottom of the deck, Divine Timing. So the clock here is right on three. And up here you have one, it's past three. It's way too early. It's just before. Yeah, so there's late, too early, just before, really late and right on time to find timing when it's meant to be. Also the world card energy, wish fulfillment. Journey growth, healing, strength, and rooted. Wow. Libra. First thing I want to say is this rooted energy is connecting with the root chakra, which again, here we're also seeing in our world card, when it's centered, when it's balanced, aligned, everything, there's potential. You know, you can work, you can move up and work things out. Because if something's going on with the roots, you can see here of this tree, if they're just rotted and they're not, you just, you can't do anything about it. You know, the tree gets cut down or sometimes it gets removed. You can see that there's still potential here. There, there's still, there's still something here. There's still a chance for growth. Literally, it came in here with the growth, look. And you can also see here on the tree that it's still growing. There's still, it's still blooming. There's still something here. There's still potential here. It's clear, but it's a validation of that. And the strength card is here. So of course it's connecting us with Leo. And the strength card is connected to the heart chakra I love. 
There's musical notes here. It's an energy of making peace, restoring harmony. That's around the apology here. But this is also somebody taming the beast, literally getting over their pride and ego to communicate, apologize. And this is more than that. This is more than that. And I just want to put it out there <laughs> that there's definitely an intense intensity between you. I, I want to say a, a really high chemistry that sometimes can be, well, can be amazing, but can also be overwhelming. And this is, if you were in the kind of connection that it was a lot of physical, this is like this person now saying, I'm ready for everything. Maybe you were already there and obviously there was promises broken and things that happened and, and yeah, things didn't move forward the way they were going to. They're coming in here now to do that. So that's the energy here. And for some of you, that could mean like another level from just the physical. You know, I don't think it's just physical for everybody, but it is here. And look, the healing and journey. So healing journey, literally. Our Queen of Cups here with the Apology, the Nine of Cups, the King of Swords, the, the Moon, the Revealing Energy, the Ace of Cups, what you've been waiting for, the possibilities here in the World card in the future. It's a heart that needs healing. There are two butterflies. It's like really the two of you connecting with both the Throat Chakra, but also the Death card energy, so the transformational energy, Dark to Light. There's even a little note on here, look, with words. So the communication here, healing energy. Somebody could be traveling literally. You can see that here. But it's also an energy of the communication, of the getting out of the conflicting energy. For some of you, this is a validation of long distance. It's your journey together. Again, it can also be the, the energy of travel is pretty strong with the world card and the journey card. But it's also connecting to the cups, to the emotions, to your love, to things moving forward here, to offers, to revealing energy, to wishes coming true. Getting this heart red again because you can see it needs healing. And look what's here right below it. It's a puppy. And that's my sign for making peace. It's it's all part of this energy of how they're coming in, which is really sincere. Without ego. This is somebody coming in their higher self. Okay. Let's check out some channeled love messages. Messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your Libra? I dream about our life together. It's all I want. Connecting here with Revelation, rooted in the Ten of Cups, which, by the way, that rooted energy, of course, is also the Earth energy, the commitment energy, and putting roots down. So had you built a life together, were you building it? Was it on the table? It's on the table, whether it's going to the very beginning or coming back. Rooted, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups here, the world. Hello. That camera makes me crazy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't think it missed very much. Just in case, just a little rewind, okay? I dream about our life together, it's all I want. I mean, that's connecting with rooted, also with putting down roots, moving babies, life moving in, blending families, maybe introducing, getting a dog, talking again, going exclusive, what is it? Because that's also here in rooted. Ten of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups, ace of cups. We are a faded connection also came down. I know we met for a reason. And then you are my soulmate. And I was saying when I looked up at the camera that it wanted to be here with the King of Swords to make sure you hear it. You know I still want you is in my hand. Yeah, and that's also a strong, I'm gonna leave it at that, but it's a strong physical connection. That has been some really strong energy lately. I don't know what readings you're watching, but there's some particular readings in the last week that have just been really intense in that way, like passionate kind of energy. That's also here today. Please know you are perfect to me. Songs are constantly being played that remind me of you. So somebody listening to music. 
I loved you once. I love you still. I always have. I always will. I didn't reply because I'm being proud. Look, right here with the strength card. Yeah, because that's been a strong energy here of getting over ego and pride. It's been strong and it's a validation. And it's they're not coming in with their ego. That's what I'm really liking. The tarot closet love messages. Messages from your person. Messages from their higher self. Three. That's it. Okay. My world is dark without you. Here in the world card. I'm hiding my true feelings. That is also what's been going on. I really want to hold you. So sending in some physical longing. I could listen to your voice all day and night. Could be that you use your voice for work or you're a magician, a magician, maybe a magi musician. But also it's when you love someone, you know, loving their voice as well. So they're missing it. Can you feel my love? I dream of you. Connecting right here with you are my biggest wish energy also coming through in the nine of cups and the moon energy. Making wishes. My world changed when I met you. The tarot closet channeled love messages. Messages from your higher self. Now that's too many. I'm <laughs> telling them off. They want me to read that whole bowl. That's too many. You're my person. It wants to be here with I dream about our life together. It's all I want. I was stupid. I didn't reply because I'm being proud. I want to be honest. Yeah, we saw justice coming in. And of course, we have our Queen of Swords here. Connecting with our King of Swords. Again, that validation of the balance energy around the truth, around communication what they're ready for, what they're coming in with, and the two of you communicating, both of you here. We were meant to meet. So also here with We Are a Fated Connection. Coming in with that Six of Cups and the Page of Swords, just thinking, just on their mind, but also, yeah, looking, you know, as they're thinking about you, spying possibly on social media or talking to other people about you, trying to get information on you. No one compares to you. You mean a lot to me. These two are connected. I love you right here with the, the King of Swords and you are my soulmate. We were destined to meet. More of the energy, fate and destiny. This one's coming out. I've never felt like this, and my world is dark without you. Do you miss me too? This is real. It's here with the divine connection, divine timing. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you right here with healing your last channeled love message message from their higher self please forgive me please forgive me Libra yeah the apology has been really strong here today it's your last message coming in Libra thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate it please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so much. I'm sending you love, as always, and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading.